Hello everyone, Michael Boris here to tell you the download is back. I'll be on regularly with Christine Niles and Simon Rafe and a fourth special guest host from the CM crew. We're going to have in-depth discussions on the big news of the day and of course indispensable analysis from a Catholic perspective. So don't miss the download premiering on YouTube at 5 p.m. Eastern every weekday. God love you. A phony apparition is becoming the butt of jokes and the Vatican, of course, just lets it all go on. Joining us now, a Rome correspondent, Dr. Jules Gomez. Jules, what can you tell us about this shady apparition and how long has it been going on? Well, Brad, the apparition has been in the news all week in Italy. And the media is t going to town on this. Now, this is this began in 2016 with a 53-year-old lady uh, called Gisela Cardia claiming to have seen the Blessed Virgin Mary crying, first shedding uh, white tears, so she says, and then real tears of, and then tears of blood. And these tears emerging from a statue that she had bought from uh, Medjugorje. Now, um, the, the, she also makes other fantastical claims like uh, the Virgin Mary multiplied pizza, gnocchi, and rabbit, uh, you know, for a couple of parties that she had with priests and children. Uh, the Virgin Mary even got her, or, or rather the Holy Spirit even got her pregnant. Uh, there was writing on the wall in Aramaic. And uh, these sorts of fantastical claims and the fact that she sees these apparitions on the third of every month have been drawing people from all over Italy to Trevignano Romano, which is a wonderful little lakeside town on the shores of Lake Bracciano uh, in the province of Rome. Okay, well, you mentioned the media there. What's got the media buzzing about this particular apparition at this point in time? Well, the, uh, uh, an investigator who uh, did research on this uh, statue and the tears of blood uh, claimed that uh, the tears were fake and it was pig's blood. And uh, Mrs. Cardia says that it, 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 that's not true at all because the, the Carabinieri, which is the Italian paramilitary police, have conducted their own investigation, but when she was asked, uh, in fact, on Rai One, uh, Italian state television, uh, what the, the results were, uh, the Carabinieri's results, she said that she hasn't yet received uh, the results of this uh, uh, test. Uh, there have also been claims of fraud, uh, donors uh, giving fairly large sums of money, running into hundreds of thousands of euros, and nobody knows where the money has disappeared. Meanwhile, Mrs. Cartier herself disappeared for a couple of months, and now she's back claiming that on the 3rd of May, she's going to be blessed with yet another visitation from uh, uh, the Madonna of Trevignano. Okay, well, you said this is going back to 2016, and it seems like there's some, some problems here. We don't have a... a did the local bishop ever get an investigation into this apparition going? Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, well, uh, actually, no, the local bishop got involved. There are pictures of him, you know, holding uh, the statue, the supposedly weeping statue on an altar before a large crowd. Uh, and Mrs. Carthia is standing at his side. Uh, and uh, he, he seems to have been involved. A number of priests have been involved. Nuns have been visit, visiting the site. But uh, Monsignor Romano Rossi, who was then Bishop of uh, Civita Castellana, the diocese, um, uh, did not really conduct an investigation. He said he needed to examine the spirit of these meetings and make sure that the messages had a note of uh, the gospel of grace and not uh, focusing on judgment. I suspect he was uh, referring to other apparitions like in Fatima, where there is certainly talk of God's wrath and judgment. 
or you know, uh, in Akita, Japan, where he talks about fire falling from the sky, bishop against bishop, and all that. Well, what and that as an approved apparition. What uh, you, that, Rossi now he has since been replaced by another bishop. Yes, uh, the new bishop uh, Marco Salvi has uh, announced that there will be the results of an investigation he ordered. And this commission comprising of a Mariologist, a psychologist, an exorcist, uh, a, a, a canonist, and a theologian uh, are supposed to be reporting next week. And uh, we are told that the report is going to say that this, uh, these apparitions basically are fake. Uh, they're going to, you know, stamp rejected on it. Uh, they can, uh, when an investigation into a private revelation or an apparition is conducted, they can say it's approved, it's doubtful, or it's rejected. There are three categories. This definitely is going to come in, in the third, in the third category. That's what people are expecting. Okay, well, you know, that was you know 2016. That was seven years ago. What is the relationship of this local Italian diocese to the diocese of Rome? Well, it's uh, you know it borders the diocese of Rome, and uh, it is a kind of uh, a, a diocese that is supposed to come directly under the authority of the Holy See. So uh, the, the, the configuration is quite different in, in this part of the world. And so it's rather uh, sad that a new Vatican official is directly involved, uh, especially since so many of the pilgrims coming to this site obviously come from the city of Rome. Well, yes, I mean, it's, it's right next door to Rome, and it's, uh, Rome was kind of the, if you will, the metropolitan in, in that sense of, the, mm. of that area. That's where then Rome has let this go on for all this time. You would think that they would tap the local bishop, Rossi, on the shoulder and say, hey, you need to, to move your feet on this a little bit. Uh, but in your estimation, what, what responsibility, uh, if people are scandalized, falls back on the Diocese of Rome in all this? Well, it's, it's quite serious because uh, it's not just people being scandalized, but atheists and agnostics, you know, uh, the uh, uh, culture despises of Christianity, uh, Protestants as well, uh, making fun of the whole thing because it's, it's just been a, a, a farce. And it's drawn hundreds and thousands of people over the over these years. Uh, very fantastical claims have been made, but uh, a priests have gotten involved. But uh, you know, there's been no official pronouncement, even though it is on the doorstep of the Vatican. Okay, well, let's shift over to the seer for a minute. What does she have to say about all this? Uh, she obviously claims that the Lord does show her, or the Virgin Mary does show her these visions. She says that we need to take the tears of blood very seriously because it's a sign that God is not happy with the world and calamities are going to fall before the world. Uh, she also says that uh, uh, large numbers of people are blessed uh, and when people come, they pray the rosary, they uh, hear, they go to confession in large numbers and confess their sins. And therefore, there is no doubt that this is, uh, this is true and this is a blessing in her opinion. And she also says that she and her husband have not embezzled funds. Uh, she has a, a, a rather modest house in Trevignano Romano. And uh, she says that her husband has had a good job, so they don't need to profit off the whole thing. How are Catholics in the local area reacting to these apparitions, and, and what's been the response from the local clergy? Uh, confusion, if I may put it in one word. Uh, Catholics are confused, uh, a, a division as well, because uh, some Catholics are you know, vehemently supporting this, while others are uh, opposing it, uh, treating as it as it, something possibly demonic. Uh, and, and again, the clergy have sat on the fence. You, you know, the phrase that comes to my mind is the people are like sheep without a shepherd. Uh, a, a few years ago, the uh, 
vicar of the parish priest of uh, Trevignano Romano shut his door and said that they could no longer hold prayer meetings in his church. And uh, Mrs. Cartier simply shrugged and said, well, they did the same thing to, you know, the synagogue shut its door on Jesus as well. So we're what? in a similar position. You mentioned the tears were fake. What substance again were the investigators saying that the tears uh, made up these tears? Uh, a pig's blood. Wow, okay. So, well, looks like the local diocese, along with the Diocese of Rome, has fake blood on its hands. And the lady, of course, are always the ones that get hurt spiritually and seems like perhaps even in this uh, situation financially. So thank you, Jules, very much for uh, coming on, shedding some light on this seemingly dark revelation. Thank you, Brett.